Hi my friends, today we model this part, it is uh, triangular and the drawing is this one. We start by creating this cylinder, then the other features. Diameter is 80, thickness is 20. New standard millimeter side PT, new sketch, this plane with X to the right, then a circle with the diameter of 80. Finish sketch, extrude 20. Okay, then we create this cut with this uh, cylindrical face, radius 6, 29, and this center is on what circle? This circle of 62, yes, you see here, good. Face, new sketch, project, the circle, draw a horizontal line, create a circle placed on the same vertical with the center point, then uh, trim. this and apply split in two points. Why? Because we apply construction here. This dimension is uh, 29 This radius is 6 and this point is placed at a distance of 62 divided by 2. We have a fully constrained sketch. Finish sketch, extrude this area, the other direction and uh, distance is 20 minus 8 minus 8 okay now this uh, hole of 38 and 18 with a depth of 10 this is a counter bore oh this is nice we select the tool hole, this is the face, this is the center, not threaded but counter bore with diameter of 38, depth of 10 and minor diameter of uh, 18. Okay, now we create this channel. Dimensions are here 12, 16, 18, 2.5 and 3 and 9. We start from this uh, work plane. New sketch. We select that plane xy and a new sketch f7 to see inside then 
we draw a rectangle with dimensions 3 on 18, 18 tab 3, we project this uh, face to place the dimension of 2.5 then align this with this on vertical another rectangle is this one and the other is uh, this one dimensions i wait no i place dimension here of 16 here of 12 and all of them placed on the same vertical this point with this point this center with this point Now, the last dimension, 9. Finish sketch, extrude, 1, 2, 3, cut all the way through the part. OK. Now, 3 holes one is this three at uh, metric eight equidistant six and five yes this and this are aligned and also this let's create this holes hole on this face with this center and not counterbore but threaded what kind of thread did iso what dimension eight it is through the part okay next one is placed here we place a point on the same vertical with the center point then the distance of uh, 28 divided by 2 finish sketch hole inventor knows where is that point then okay you see here that hole the last is placed here once again point on the same vertical with the center point and the distance of uh, 60 60 divided by 2 as you can see then finish and hole not 6 but 5 ok now we apply circular pattern we select hole 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 extrusion and uh, this extrusion not this hole because it is the counterbore major counterbore 
we select the center and we place here three instances for that uh, all features yes now you see undimensioned chamfers are one at 45 one is this this and this then here and here okay we select this control key pressed and we select some this is not good this is good and this one chamfer not two but one millimeter okay now I see that I make a mistake hole double click and this is five it must be six okay the other one this one is six and it must be five okay another mistake is with this uh, chamfer it must be placed also here chamfer of one millimeter okay now let's see what is the volume I properties physical update we select this copy and the drawing double click let's see what is the new value the new value is identical with the previous one we cancel because we keep this uh, value material is still carbon and we change the lights default IBL becomes default lights now if you try to compare you see that they are the same that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye